Cretters is C. Cretters and Company is an American manufacturing company specializing in popcorn machines and other concessions equipment. It was established in 1885 with the invention of the first large scale commercial popcorn machine to popcorn in oil. C. Cretters and Company is in Wooddale, Illinois, and is still owned by the Cretters family. History 1880s through 1890s Charles Cretters was originally from Lebanon, Ohio, but eventually made his way to Decatur, Illinois, where he opened a bakery and eventually a confectionery shop. He purchased a peanut roaster for his shop to broaden his product line to include freshly roasted peanuts. Not satisfied with the new machine, he redesigned it for better function. He moved to Chicago seeking success by selling his new machine. He purchased a vendor's license to test his machine in front of his shop. The license, dated December 2, 1885, marks the inception of C. Cretters and Company. The new roaster was driven by a small steam engine, which automated the roasting process. By 1893, Cretters had created a steam-powered machine that could roast peanuts as well as popcorn and oil. Cretters' machine design offered several advantages over the hand-operated process. Cretters' machine became the first automated machine that could pop popcorn uniformly in its own seasonings. As a result, the product was uniform every time. Cretters applied for a patent on his automated peanut roaster and popcorn maker, which was granted in 1893. A chance meeting happened between Cretters and J.M. Savage, a traveling salesman who purchased a bag of roasted peanuts. Savage was intrigued with the new peanut roaster and offered to sell it in his territory. Cretters agreed to the proposal and hired his first salesman. Charles Cretters took his new popcorn wagon to the midway of Chicago's Columbian Exposition in 1893 and introduced the new corn product. After a trial period where Cretters gave away samples of his new popcorn product, people lined up to purchase bags of the hot, buttered popcorn. The smell of roasting peanuts and of hot buttered corn being popped in its seasoning before the buyers attracted attention and sales. 1900s through 1930s By 1900, Cretters introduced the special, the first large horse-drawn popcorn wagon. It was an immediate success. Three variations of this wagon were created. This was when electricity was becoming available. Cretters created the first popcorn machine with an electric motor. Thus, C. Cretters and Company holds one of the oldest active underwriters' laboratories numbers EA-175 for electrically operated machinery. The electric poppers soon took to market and electricity became the choice of power, as steam power had a reputation for being complicated and dangerous. As movie theater attendance grew through the 1920s, Cretters began designing machines that could pop and hold more of the product. Popcorn continued to grow in popularity through the Great Depression due to its low cost. During World War Roman II, Min Tu Wu, Min Tu, C. Cretters and Company adapted when faced with World War Roman II. In 1941, the War Production Board issued Elminus 65, stopping all non war related production. Cretters became a government supplier in the war effort. Cretters purchased new production equipment and produced aircraft, oil line fittings, and mechanical radio components, among other things. After the war, the company faced a shortage of materials. Cretters introduced the Super 60, a popcorn machine with an all walnut cabinet. Since then, they have continued designing new poppers and features to meet the new needs of theaters concession stands, and customers. Further expansion Cretters has continued to expand their product line to include other food service equipment, including warming cabinets, expanded topping and dispensing systems, hot dog, product lines, small concessions poppers, large concessions poppers, display and conditioner cabinets, gourmet retail equipment, topping and dispensers, hot dog equipment, cotton candy, ice shavers. In popular culture, 
and the media. On July 7, 1988, the United States Postal Service issued a 16.7 cent postage stamp that featured an illustration of the Kretter's 1902 model of the Noah One wagon. It was issued as part of the transportation series. It was done to pay tribute to America's first snack and the machine that made it all possible. Kretter's has been featured on the Travel Channel's TV show Made in America, as well as Big, in which they manufactured the Guinness World Records' largest popcorn machine.